Hey, what's up? It's your boy Charles Young, back at you again, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. You know what I'm saying? It's a great website. You know, I got motivational speaking. I got, I got the comedy. Definitely got to have that. You know, the poetry. I'm doing everything, man. So support me. You know. All right. What I want to get into right now is, um, I want to tell the parents that you got to understand. Um, this is a new day and time. It's a new age, and the schooling system is not the best system as we thought it was before to actually help people. One thing I noticed is that these parents are sending these kids to school thinking that the teachers are supposed to teach them morals and values and teach them everything they're supposed to know about life. Wrong. It's wrong. It's not their job to do all of your work. Even though, because you send your kid there, it's just basically an overpaid babysitter. That's basically what you're considering them, is you don't even want to take your kids out. There's a couple of issues where me working personally in the school where there was like, it was a half day and a parent would bring a child back to school with one hour left. You know what I'm saying? That's an issue. That's an issue we need to fix. You know what I'm saying? As parents, you know, you parents got to start taking, start taking responsibility, man. Another thing is you can't, you can't expect the teachers to teach your kids morals and manners and values. That is your job. If they don't want to teach them that, they don't have to. They're only supposed to instruct them on the right way to go. That's their only job. So we need to stop pushing so much on these teachers and start taking responsibility for ourselves. You need to stop poking the finger at what the teacher is not doing and start going back and poking the finger at what your child's not doing or what you're not doing. Mainly, you need to talk to yourself because that child goes home with you at night. It doesn't go home with the teacher. The teacher holds them for seven hours a day and it may feel like they are the parent, but you're, it's your responsibility. You got to wake them up on time. You got to take them to school. So you need to be more involved inside your child's education if you feel that the education system is right. And if your child is not ready for school, take them to an alternative school. Take them to, there's computer schools. You don't have to put your kid inside the school anymore. You can, they can teach themselves online. They're on the computer all day. What's the problem with them going to school online and stop disturbing you, stop messing up what you feel that you're doing that's so important Start to, oh, so you don't have to come off of work and just send them out home and let them do that. And then you'll find out what you want, what you'll do to help your kid. Like, basically, you know, working inside of school, you have kids who just are not built for that. Everybody's not built for school. Everybody's not built for school. There's many... And, and if you say that's that's wrong thing to say, there's many uh, stories where people don't even have their GED. You know what I'm saying? My grandfather, he only had a third grade education. You know what I'm saying? A third grade education. And this guy had over 100 acres of land plus the brand new car every week. So the brand new Cadillac. <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is just personal. I had my other grandfather, man. He just went back in the state and got a GED. He got his GED. And he opened up his own business. So the fact of the matter is, is that you don't have to keep sending your kids to these schools. You don't have to. You're just using them as an overpaid babysitter and to teach them all the stuff that you can't teach them. And I understand you go to work and, you know what I'm saying, you want somebody to watch them and take care of them. But you got to start understanding what is more important, your job that you're going to be working as always or your kid that's only going to be five, six, seven, eight, one time in their whole entire lifetime. Then nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen. They're only gonna be there at that one time in a lifetime. That's the only time you should share this shit with them. So I feel like what I'm saying to you is, you know, you need to take the extra step. Forget. I know you're gonna be tired, but think about it. This is your future. You're actually what you really need to understand is you're you need to invest in your own future. You need to invest. If you're not a stock market person, you you need to be, especially when it comes to your kid. That's investing in your own future. If you could give your child the possible, the best possible outcome of taking care of them, teaching them, and learn, uh, uh, making them learn something of importance, showing them that they have some value in this world as they're young, instead of just a day in day out job like you feel you're only built for. You may you never know that same child may be the one to buy you that new house, that new car that you've always dreamed of. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we need to invest in our future. You know, you're responsible. You're Be the responsible parent and stop pushing all this stuff on these teachers because these teachers are tired of it. These teachers are really tired of it. That's why they're losing their mind and, and about to do some things to your kids because the teachers are really tired of it. They're, treat, they're already treated like an like over, overpriced babysitter, and they hate it. They don't like it, and that's the truth. So you need to take responsibility for your kids. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's my time. 
Um, my name is uh, Charles Young. You know, follow me on OpenThoughts.com if you have anything. Comment, subscribe. You know, show somebody else. We gotta help. We gotta help one another out. So, uh, we thank you. I thank you, and have a good one. Peace.